<sighs> cookies. Hmm, <sighs> chocolate chips cookies. Hmm, <sighs> cookies! Huh? Hello? <gasps> Wait! Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Now you're probably wondering, Jack, where is here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new world of dragons. After rescuing the world of craftable dragons and bringing dragons back after 100 years, I decided to hop on this boat. My friend stand here is the bodyguard and also coincidentally the captain of the ship. And he brought us all the way to this foreign land that is filled with new species of dragons that I have never seen. And you guys know I am the chief of dragons. So if there are new dragons, I have to go see what it's about. Whoa. Okay, so right off the bat, we have dragons in the water. I've only ever seen water dragons one other time in my cookie craft series. So the thing about visiting a brand new world of dragons is that every single dragon species here is different than any other dragon I've tamed before. So I need to make sure to be really, really careful because some dragons are not as friendly as others and some dragons here might not even be tameable. Oh, hello. Uh, why, wait, what? Why do you, why do you sound so scared? <laughs> They're grunting weird. Let's look around and see if we can find the brand new dragons. Yo, there's a wild one. Um, wait, are these, are, are they friendly? Some dragons are super friendly and some are not. So we need to just approach with a tad bit of caution here. Do you like the baked potatoes? I got lots of baked potatoes for you. What about carrots? You're right near a carrot farm. I can feed you lots of carrots if you like. Oh, I have this spyglass that just kind of like zooms in very weirdly. The first First thing you guys need to know uh, from the chief of dragons about approaching a brand new dragon is just do it very, very quickly. Just run at the dragon and see what happens. It seems friendly enough. This one, this one actually seems to take a liking to me. We do have a saddle for a dragon, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like I'm able to do it. So here's what I'm thinking, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to establish dominance. I so smacked it. I smacked its back. That was a bad idea. Look at my health, dude. It just dropped down to zero. Okay, okay. We might actually have to fight it. Oh, all right. Well, these dragons are a tad bit more difficult than I'm normally used to, but I will not stop today until I figure out how to tame this beast. We obviously know it is a type of fire dragon. I've dealt with lots of fire dragons, so I'm really not super worried. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right here, we have something of a nest station. So if there's a nest station, that means that there are probably dragon eggs. Oh my gosh, wait a second. The dragons also fight each other. This fire dragon just defeated whatever that little chicken dragon was. I need this, ladies and gentlemen. I need it, and I need it now. There are so many. They're just flying around. Uh, most people don't really seem to be super scared of them, except for this person. They're hiding inside of their house. Okay, we're going to approach very slowly. If you don't do anything to the dragon, it does not attack you. But in order to tame it, I'm gonna establish dominance. There we go. There we go. Let me ride your back. Oh my gosh, dude, it does so much damage. Okay, okay, we need to strafe left and right. This thing is massive, and it's gonna kill me. I'm flipping dead. Close the doors. Close the flipping doors. Uh, Oh, okay. All right. This house is 1000% about to get burned down. This person right right here is just unfazed. She does not care that there is a massive fire breathing lizard outside of her door. Nah, that's cool. We're going to be fine. We're just going to go out nice and slow. And then we're going to, we're going to have to just kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. it wait, Draconis looks weak. Try mounting it. Wait a second. Okay. So I was right. I have one heart. If this thing kicks me off, I am dead. <gasps> we did it. We tamed a Draconis and then another Draconis killed me. Wait, they're fighting each other. No, 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 no. Okay. It teleported to me. Um, okay, we're gonna hop on its back, right? Am I able to interact and put a saddle on its back? I did. Okay, so we officially have our first ever dragon in this brand new world. And now we need to get revenge. Oh my gosh, I accidentally hit my own dragon. Okay, okay. I actually, which one is mine? Mine has the saddle on it, so we just have to keep track of it. Wait, okay. I am so confused. So when a dragon gets weak in this world, it actually allows you to hop on its back to try to tame it. But there's a fine line between taming it and killing it. So we have to be just a little bit more careful next time. Let's see what our dragon is able to eat. So there's really no way uh, to check its health. I'm able to make it sit. I'm able to make it dance. Whoa. Okay. So if we left click, that's how we make the dragon attack. This is so cool. And it can fly around. Okay. All right. We're going to take it nice and easy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is going to be perfect. We can officially explore this massive world filled with brand new dragons. Uh, this place is huge. Okay. So we have what appears to be a volcano over there, a massive city on a mountain. Uh, there's frost lands right across the this massive lake. And then there's Skylands over here. If I had to guess, every single area has brand new dragons that I can tame. 
I also completely forgot to mention too, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below name suggestions for our brand new Draconis dragon. Uh, can I can I use this to attack the, the, the villagers? Okay, no. Villagers are immune to dragon attacks. That's probably a good thing. What about chickens? Chickens are also immune. I can only use Draconis to fight other dragons. Wait, what are these? I can't tell. Are these dragons? It literally looks like a rooster combined with a snake combined with a dragon. A rooster snake dragon. A dragooster. It's a dragooster. Let's see if the process for taming this is the same as the bigger dragon. So we're gonna just attack it, I guess. Draconis, did you really have to kill it? Draconis, you are going in time out. You've been a very bad dragon. Stay there. I need to try this again. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna t take this nice and slow. This is a, a a tiny dragon species. I just used a charm on it. Whoa, whoa, wait. I got it. This is mine. It's following me. It's called a drakeling. So for those of you dragon noobs watching today's episode, a drake is basically a dragon that doesn't have wings. At least I'm 99% sure uh, this doesn't have wings, or maybe it's flightless. This thing is kind of just dumbfounding me right now. I'm not entirely sure if it's even a dragon. I think it is, but there's no way to tell for certain. Let's go try to buy a saddle from one of the villagers. Then we can see if we can ride the little drakeling. Oh, hello. How you doing? Do I have saddles? Saddle, 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 saddle. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Cookie looking person. Oh, wait a second. I just figured out I have a book of all of the different types of dragons. It's like a Pokédex, but a dragon dex. So the drakeling actually is not a drake. It's a type of wyvern. Huh? And I believe in order to ride on its back, I need to buy a saddle. Do, 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 do. Saddle. Hey. Hey, hey, what? What the flip, dude? What the? Oh, did I? Where the? Uh, did you just steal my my saddle? What? What are you did? How did you? I'm my brain hurts. What did you do with my saddle? Wait, it literally just stole it. It just yoinked my saddle, and now it's not giving it for me. Wait a second. What, what if I use dragon cookies on you? Dragon dragon cookies do not work. But I might be able to use the dragon cookies in order to help tame other dragons. Draconis, we have a slight uh, security issue. Kill it, kill it. What you doing? Do it, do it, kill it. What did that? Just, yeah, I think it just tried to. Throw Row a uh, uh, something to to tie me up. Let's see if it'll attack creepers. Most pets refuse to. Oh my gosh! The creeper came out of nowhere. Whoa! Do you guys see that? Look at it. Okay, there's there's two different types of dragons. At least I think we're gonna have to be super gentle. This one is spazzing out, dude. My man is tweaking. Okay, let's go down here. We're gonna we're gonna make Draconis stay. Yeah, and I want to see what happens if I use the dragon cookies. Eat my cookies, please. Love me. Is it working? Did, did I did I did I feed you a cookie. I know you want the cookies. Whoa. Okay, that thing sounds deadly. It looks like something's wrong with this dragon. Look at it. It like it like refuses to land. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Tame it, tame it, tame it, tame it. All right. I, I was trying to hit the skeleton and then I accidentally jumped on this thing and, and now I think its friends are probably gonna try to kill me. This is one is called a niche terra. The niche terra is a type of wyvern. It spawns in the jungle. So I guess we're in the jungle right now and it has a pretty decent amount of upgrades. Okay, so it says I can put a sack saddle on it. It didn't say that for the drakeling, which is probably why it just uh, ate my saddle. Let's see if it will follow me back down to the village. Oh my gosh. Okay. It actually did it. This thing looks so cool. The dragons in this world are top notch, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Okay. Don't be scared. It's okay. I just, I'm, I'm a dragon chief and master of everything. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit low on emeralds though. So if we could just maybe uh, sell a couple things, get some emeralds, that would be very nice. Okay. That should be enough. Let's, uh, uh, go trade with my dude. Wait, 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 wait. I swear I just traded a bunch of times with you. Yeah, wait, trade. There we go. I think this guy just stole from me. Hello, hi, nice to meet you guys. Knock, knock, anybody home? It took a little while, but we managed to get our emeralds up. We have eight right now, which means I should be able to go up to this guy and we can actually buy a couple different things, but let's buy a saddle. Now we can put it on the back of our brand new dragon. Yes, okay, let's see what it, its attacks do. Okay. Okay, so it seems like it's it's kind of got the same attacks, but each one has different fire abilities. Okay, guys, so I think for now, it would be a good idea to keep our base camp relatively simple. We can uh, take over somebody's house in this city, and then we can slowly expand because when I was flying around, I could see so many different areas. I think in the next episode, we should go check out the 
ice plains over there. There is such a massive city to explore. And there's probably some pretty amazing dragons there too. On the way, we could probably get one of these water dragons. But dudes, I think that is a good spot to wrap up today's episode. I need two name suggestions for our fire dragon. And also, uh, this is our purple dragon. I'm still not entirely sure what element it is. We'll have to figure it out next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beck Bro Chief of Dragons Jack, and I will see you next time. Peace out, dudes.